Meanwhile, another question that everyone's been asking, how long before we have a cure? So far, the Wuhan virus treatment has been largely based on trial and error. A combination of drugs has been used to treat the virus, but in America, there is one drug that seems to be working. It's called Remdesivir. Is this hope or hype? Our next report tells you all about it. This vial could be the potential lifesaver against the Wuhan coronavirus. The drug is called Remdesivir. Doctors in the United States are prescribing it. And it's working. Not 100%, but scientists in America found that patients who were given Remdesivir have a shorter recovery time. The data shows that Remdesivir has a clear-cut, significant, positive effect in diminishing the time to recovery. This is really quite important for a number of reasons, and I'll give you the data. It's highly significant. If you look at the time to recovery, although a 31% improvement doesn't seem like a knockout 100%, it is a very important proof of concept because what it is proven is that a drug can block this virus. Remdesivir was originally tested to treat Ebola patients. But early studies indicate that this drug is working. Scientists had tested Remdesivir first on monkeys. The results were promising. And there was a very clear difference. So the animals that were treated with Remdesivir, they don't really show um, the, that the, the breathing difficulties that we start to see in control animals. We don't really see much damage to their lungs. So the drug clearly had a very positive effect on the, on the disease. This prompted doctors and experts to test the drug on humans. American hospitals began drug trials. The drug was administered through daily infusion for 10 days. Doctors said the duration of symptoms dropped from 15 days to 11. More than 1,000 patients were part of this trial. But it is still premature to declare remdesivir the cure. These numbers don't look dramatic and they haven't been reviewed yet. But what I'm optimistic about is that if you think of all, all patients, those that are maybe moderately ill, to those that are profoundly ill and ventilator dependent. The idea that you could have a 30% decrease in overall mortality and this even better improvement to, to recovery is to me pretty profound. The full results of the study are not out yet. So the doctors are proceeding with caution. China had conducted a drug trial with Remdesivir too. The study had claimed that the drug is ineffective. But scientists were not able to complete their trial, apparently because the doctors didn't have enough patients. The drug was tested on just over 200 patients there. Despite the doubts, US President Donald Trump has jumped the gun once again. He wants authorities to fast track the permissions required for mass emergency use. Trump has done this before. Earlier, he had touted hydroxychloroquine as the miracle drug. But the drug proved to be life-threatening for some patients. Researchers in Brazil had to cancel a small chloroquine study. This was after some patients developed cardiac arrhythmias and even died. Remdesivir shows promise. But world leaders should not begin a mad rush to procure it. Several scientists have issued a warning. One promising study is not good enough to determine the effectiveness of a drug. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.